I have a lot of love and respect for Iowa State, for the coaches, former teammates, and the fan base. It's really a, it's really a cool place. And when deciding to pick a school, I ended up choosing Missouri. There were so many similarities from those aspects of Iowa State and Missouri. Both both uh, coaching staffs were young and they were full of energy, and the, the, all the players were really connected and they were really good guys. The fan bases, both of them, are really similar. They remind me just of how rowdy and how into the games they were when we had the chance to play them at Missouri this year. It was cool to see how invested they were into their basketball program. And then throughout the recruiting process, just getting to meet Coach Gates and his phenomenal coaching staff. It's been it's been really impressive to see how they operate. And then obviously getting to meet other players on the visits was good to meet them and just all the different personality traits that everybody has. It's it's a unique situation and it's something that I couldn't pass up on. Talking to Coach Gates, I'm sure you've uh, just seen a little bit of his personality and just seen what he also did in year one here at Mizzou. Just how did that help influence you to make the decision to come to Columbia? Wherever Coach Gates can been, he's always won. And being my last year, one thing that's important to me is I want to win and I want to play in the NCAA tournament and I want to advance in the NCAA tournament with what coach Gates did in his first year at Missouri was really impressive. And I want to build on what he started and what he's developed at the players there and how he's turned that program around and put them back to where they need to be. I just hope I get to be a part. I'm just, I'm just very thankful that I get to be a part of a program like Missouri. And I'm very thankful that coach Gates took the chance to recruit me and gave me this opportunity to come play for Missouri. Did you know that Missouri was going to be an option for you right off the bat, or how did that kind of come about? To be honest with you, I had no idea what I was going to do. There was a lot of debate whether I wanted to not even play college basketball again or go try to start a professional career overseas. And then there was also another option of the possibility to um, enter the transfer portal and then there was also another option of possibly not playing again and you know all those ran through my mind and you know in the end I decided to enter the transfer portal and try to find a a home for my last year of college basketball it was um I was really nervous going into the portal because I didn't know who was going to reach out prior to the situation that I had at Iowa State and I'm just really thankful that coach Gates and staff believe in me and gave me the opportunity to come to Missouri because I'm just very excited for what they have to offer and I just can't wait to get on campus. You're the third guard that Gates has picked up in the portal. Just if you had to say one thing to the Mizzou fan base of what you're going to bring that may be different from the other prospects, just what's, what's that one thing? Yeah, it's unique. I've had the opportunity to meet, meet the players and meet, the incoming transfers as well and I think all of us bring a really competitive edge to us if you look at the three transfer guards they brought in they've all been proven winners and they've all won at their previous school and they've all been to the NCAA tournament and we all bring experience to the program with that being said we all know how to win and at the end of the day no matter how we play winning is the most important thing and the selflessness that I think all three of us have within each other And then obviously within the program is how much we want to win. More than anything, no matter what Mizzou fans see, I just want to see them happy and watching a team that's building something special that we can build into March and hopefully early April. I think all three of us provide a different skill set. With me, I believe I can bring down knockdown shooting and being able to space the floor and create opportunities for other people while on the defensive end, being really active in the passing lanes, guarding the ball, like what I usually do and then have having good instincts on on defense and anticipating what's going to happen next and using that to my advantage.